How's it going everyone? Sean here from Raw Technique Studios. Now this is going to be a video on routing. It was requested by a couple people so I'm finally going to put it out for them. Uh, hopefully this helps out anybody who's ever had a question with how I set up my sessions, how it's all routed. This will be covering your inputs, outputs, sends, buses, auxes, all that stuff so you could set up your effects properly and have access to it on each individual track and be able to adjust the levels of the sends and all that. So let's just jump into it and get a better understanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by creating some new tracks. Shift Command N will bring up my new tracks and I'm going to do, let's do four mono audio tracks. And then I'm gonna start, say this is your verse here. And this is, uh, let's say doubles. And then you're gonna have a hook and let's say you doubled up your hook as well so let's say hook two all right so first thing once you create your uh, audio tracks you need to make sure you're on the right mic input so if you're plugged into the input number one on your preamp uh, for your interface then you're going to go ahead and change this over to mic one for all of them and then what I'm going to do is create some aux tracks. So I'm going to go shift command N and I'm going to do, let's do six stereo aux inputs. All right, this top one here, I'm going to be having as my dry verse. The second one, reverb verse. This uh, third one, Let's say a delay verse. To not have to double click each time, you can just hold command, press the right arrow, and it'll go to the next um, aux input. So this will be hook, dry, hook, reverb, and hook, delay. All right, so they're all set up and named. All right, so all these are selected here. I need to solo safe them, so I'm gonna hold down the command button and solo safe these. That grays it out and that makes it to where if I solo this and it's being routed to one of these, it doesn't mute this out. It'll keep it going through to the aux. So that's solo safe. All right, now we need to set it up so that these tracks are being sent to these. Right now, everything's just going to output one and two. So for verse and doubles, because this is my verse doubles, I'm gonna go ahead and select both of these. So you can hold shift to select multiples. And then I'm gonna hold shift option and click the output. I'm gonna go to bus and I'm going to pick just any random bus, bus five and six. And that'll change my output to bus five and six for these two that I highlighted. Uh, now I'm gonna double click, oop, uh, right click on the bus five and six rename it and let's say uh, verse now for my hook same thing hold down shift to select both I'm going to hold shift option select the bus I'm gonna go to bus 7 and 8 right click rename and let's say hook all right so now my verse is being sent out to a bus called verse and my hooks being sent out through a bus called hook now we need to assign it to these. So dry verse is what I want my verse to be sent through. Go to the input, bus, verse. And then hook, dry, input, bus, hook. All right, that's it for those. Now as far as reverb, delay for the hook and the verses, that's gonna be set up through the sends. So what you're gonna do is click on the send here. This is for the verse. Go to bus, go ahead, select any bus. I'm gonna say 15, 16 here. Rename it, verse, oops. Verse, verb. All right, and then I need to go down to my reverb for the verse here, input. Select the one I just made, verse, verb. So that's gonna be sending from here into here now. And we could go ahead, apply your reverb, whatever reverb you want. So throw up a reverb unit there. And up here on the send, as you see, this thing pops up. You could adjust the volume 
So you're pretty much this is telling you how much of this dry audio signal do you want to be sent into the reverb unit. So you could put a little bit in or you put a lot. So it's up to you. All right, up next, we have our delay one. So I'm going to go up here, send, bus. Let's pick a bus, 1920s, good. Rename it. This is going to be verse delay. Go to your delay verse aux on the input, bus, and select verse delay. Now up here on our uh, send here, we could adjust how much signal is being sent to the delay unit. We need to put a delay on it, so it is delay. If you don't put anything on it, you're just sending extra volume. So that's all you're doing. So go ahead, delay, and go ahead, pick whatever delay you want. Uh, let's just throw something on there. All right, so there's our delay unit. Up next, we have hook reverb. So we're going to go to hook, sends, select, bus, pick one, 21, 22 is fine, rename it. And this is our hook verb. Go down here on the input, bus, hook verb. And now you can adjust how much reverb you want on your hook. Make sure you put a reverb unit on there. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one over there. Now for uh, our delay, select on the hook track, bus, go ahead and pick an empty one, 2526. Rename, hook, delay. Go down to your hook delay aux, input, bus, hook delay. Okay, so that set up there, you could adjust how much volume on it. Go ahead, do the same thing for your doubles and your uh, hook too. I'm just gonna copy, I'm holding option and dragging for each of these. And then you could go in and adjust how much reverb how much do, uh, how much delay you want on each individual track. So you could have a lot of reverb on your hook and then just a little bit of reverb on your hook too. So there's complete control is what we're going for here. And you also have access to a dry signal because your output is going into a verse or is going into a, a dry aux with nothing on it. So you get complete control. Now for the next step. You want to select all of these here. Uh, you could do it in two sections if you want to control your verses and your hooks separately, or you could do it all in one. So let me show you if you did it separate. So let's say I'm going to select just the verses here. Shift Command N. I'm going to do another aux stereo. I'm going to color this one so it looks a little different. Let's do this color here. And this will be my verse sum. And I'm going to change it so all of these verse tracks, the dry, the reverb, and the delay, are all going to be sent to this verse sum. So I'm going to hold Shift Option because these are highlighted already. Select my output. Go to Bus. Select an empty one, so 27, 28. I'm going to rename that verse sum. On my verse sum aux here, I'm going to go to the input, bus, and select verse sum. So now all three of these are going into this here. I'm going to go ahead and solo save that as well. Same thing for the hooks. Shift command N, stereo, aux input, solo save, color it, name it. This is going to be hook sum. Select all of these, hold down shift, shift option, click. This is your output. You're going to bus and you're going to pick an empty one. 2324 is empty. Rename it hook sum. All right. On your hook sum aux, input, bus, pick hook sum. All right. You're set up there. And then we could go ahead and do. This one here is your verse sum, and then this one here is your hook sum. So let's select, let's select both of those. Shift Command N, Stereo Aux. I'm gonna color this one uh, a different color, and this is gonna be a vocal 
sum. So this is all my vocals being sent here as a final adjustment if needed. I'm gonna go ahead and select my input, change it to an empty bus, rename that. This is vocal sum. I need to go on my hook sum and my verse sum, change their outputs to vocal sum. If I can find it. Here it is. All right. So now it's all set up. So my vocals are all being routed to where you have complete control over everything. So let's put some audio in there real quick. I'm just going to record me talking into it. And then you can see how it's set up. So right here is my verse. Because I am recording my vocals for you guys right now, I'm going to mute this while I record it so I don't get feedback. Press record there. You can see I'm in the green. You want to stay in the green. Uh, if you hold command uh, over this volume thing here, click it, then you get to see the peak. Go ahead, click that. So it's going to go down. As I'm talking, if I raise my voice, check, check, you can see my peaks going up to minus 7.1. What you want to do typically is to stay in minus 10, minus 12, around that area. That way you stay in the green and you're doing, uh, you're giving yourself headroom for mixing. If you want to turn stuff up, turn it down and you'll never get close to clipping. So that's a little preview of my whole never get close to clipping thing. Record low is the main point. All right. So check, check, check one, two. I could see uh, that I'm hitting minus 10. I want to go a little lower. So what I'm going to do is reach over to my preamp. Just turn it down a little bit. All right. So check, check, check. Let me click this so it resets itself. Check, check, one, two, check, check. See, now I'm peaking at minus 21. I could turn it up a little bit or I could record it that because that's fine. Check, 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 one, two. All right. Minus 18 is good. So let's press record and we could go with that. Testing, testing. This is the verse. Check one, two, the verse. All right. So that's our verse section there. And let's say we have doubles. Record. Check one, two, check. This is the verse. Check one, two, check. All right. So that's our double. I'm going to go ahead and let's mute those out. Let's say we have a hook which comes after it you're going to go ahead record there check one two this is the hook check one two all right on to the next, next part of the hook check one two this is the hook check one two okay so now we have all of our audio i can unmute everything and we could go ahead and give it a listen. Check testing, one, two, testing. check. This is, this the, is verse. the verse. Check, check one, one, two, two the check. verse. All right, so they're not lined up because obviously I wasn't listening to what I was uh, doing in there, but you get the point. So now we have our verse and our, it's double. We have our hook and it's double. Now, if you look over here, I'm going to solo this verse because these are solo saved. They'll still be working and everything. I'm going to press play. This is the verse. Check one, two, the verse. As you can see, the audio is coming in. It's going from this verse here out the output here at verse into the input of the drive verse out of the drive verse to a verse sum over here to verse sum. And then you'll see from verse sum is going to vocal sum, which is down here. So if I press play, pay attention to where you see the green inputs going and I'll click them as you see them. So you're starting here. This is the verse, drive verse here. Check one, two, vocal the sum. verse. All the way to down there. All right, so that makes it to where our audio is routed all the way through. Now, if I wanted signal here, need to turn it up on the send. So this is my reverb send. Press play. This is the verse. Check one, two, the verse. All right, and you can see that it's coming through here now because I'm sending it to this unit. 
Here's my delay. It's going to come in through here now. This is the verse. Check one, Check two, one, the, two verse. the verse. The verse, the verse, the verse. Alright, so you can see that I'm getting delay now. And that's how it works for setting up your sends using these here and using your outputs and getting it all set up. Now, same thing for the hook. It's going to be routed right into all the parts that we need it to. So hook is going to play through here, be sent to the hook dry, be sent to the hook sum, which is sent to the vocal sum. So let me press play. You can see it all. Check, Check one, two. two. This, this is the hook. hook. Check one, two. All right. So I had the double playing. That's why you heard two. So let's play it again. Check one, two. This is the hook. Check one, two. All right, so it's all set up how we want it. Then I could add some reverb if I want. Check one, two. This is the hook. Check one, two. I could add some delay if I want. Check one, two. This is the hook. Check one, two. It would help if I see it. The reason you didn't hear delay is because I didn't have a delay unit on my hook delay. So I'm going to go ahead and put a delay down there. And now you'll hear it. Check one, check two. One, two. This, one, is this is the hook. Check one, check two. One, two. One, two. Okay, so doing this gives you complete control over your effects volume on each track. It gives you control of the dry signal, the reverb signal, the delay signal. All those are separate. You also have the sum of those. So if you wanted to add an effect to the overall verse, you could go ahead and do that right here. If you wanted to adjust the volume for uh, just the verses, you could do that right here. For the hooks, you could affect the dry signal, the reverb, the delay. You also have volume or effects for all of the hook vocals right here. And then at the very end, vocal sum is going to be to where you can affect the hook and the verse at the same time. Say you have perfect levels, perfect effects, and everything's good, but it's the beat's a little bit loud and something else is loud so you want to adjust the overall level to move up or down then you would do it on the vocal sum you don't want to have to mess up your stuff by going in and doing a little db here db there and hoping you got it all right all you have to do is go over here to your volume on your vocal sum and then you would just go ahead and do a little maybe you want to do a little boost to all your vocals you could do a little boost there or you could do a little cut right there just turn down the volume a bit or if you wanted to affect all your vocals at the same time, you go ahead and add an effect here and it's going to affect all the vocals. So you get complete control by routing your stuff like this. And then, of course, you're going to still have your master fader, which is going to be controlling everything. Everything's going to be sent there eventually. So if I press play on this stuff, you can see right here. Check one, check two. One, two. This is, this is because my vocal sum, its output is one and two that's going into the master fader like that so that's how i route everything i love having complete control over every single aspect of the mix and this is how you achieve that so hopefully that helped it didn't confuse you more uh just take it slow maybe watch the video a couple times to get every single step and th that's the basics of it so uh thanks for watching if you like this please press that like button comment subscribe and go ahead, uh, leave some comments on requests for videos. I have more time now that the studio is done so I can start busting out these videos. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.